get it! They get it! Well, now I've scared the cat. Hey guys, it's Chris, and as I'm sure anybody who watches this channel would know, uh, we went into today expecting a reveal of Red Dead Redemption 2, and we got that. But uh, what we didn't expect to get until late last night uh, was the reveal trailer for the Nintendo NX. They have been teasing this for months, if not at least a year. I I've lost count of how many times we've heard something about it without actually getting to see it. Um, and in my opinion, it, uh, it didn't disappoint. First off, I think the Nintendo Switch is a much better name than the Wii or the Wii U. So I'm just glad that that's kind of taken care of. Screaming children. Fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. You know what? Fuck the kids. You heard it here. Lord Jackal, fuck the kids. I don't care how much the kids scream, I'm gonna do it anyway. I think what's really great about the NX is it seems like uh, they have found a way to have like interesting controllers without actually getting in the way of actually playing the game. I wasn't a huge fan of the Wii. I thought the Wiimotes were an okay idea and great for certain games, but I felt like it severely limited uh, what you could do with the console. Now, obviously, you could go buy a classic controller, but, it, it, you know, that didn't come with the console, so anybody designing a game for the Wii had to expect that uh, large parts of their base would only have the Wii modes and design around that. We did get some great games that used it. Uh, stuff like Pandora's Tower was fantastic, but it, uh, it held the console back. Now, with the Wii U, I personally thought the gamepad was a great controller, but a lot of third-party developers got hung up on it and just didn't put out good games, or didn't put out games at all. It seems like we finally struck like a healthy balance. The Switch controller uh, can be any of that. That's what I love about it. It's combining the Wiimotes with the gamepad with a standard controller, and it it's, it's just gonna have all those options right away. People can design for any of it. I mean, obviously, okay, so the gamepad is actually a separate thing, I guess. You're not gonna play with the gamepad on the TV. But, irregardlessly, having options without them being restrictive is not a bad thing. It's also apparently gonna be powerful enough to be running Skyrim Remastered. I personally don't like Skyrim, but if Bethesda can get their latest project running on it, uh, that's a great sign for third-party developers. Also a good sign for third-party developers, the list of third-party developers that Nintendo's working with. You got From Software, so uh, some Dark Souls games on there. Again, even if I'm not a fan of them, people want it. And having it on there is going to be a big thing. Square Enix, maybe Kingdom Hearts 3 will be coming to the NX. Like people have been hoping. Oh my god, there's just more kids are coming out. They have Codemasters on board who've made a ton of great racing games. And also James Pond. Also, one of my friends, Sage Water Dragon, uh, brought to my attention that they have NVIDIA making the graphics card, which is a first. Everybody's been using AMD. Uh, so I'm really excited to see why they went with NVIDIA. Um, I'm guessing it has something to do with being able to get a powerful graphics card into something like this half-portable, half-home console hybrid. Uh, I'm really, really excited to hear about the technology behind that, actually. The biggest thing about third parties to me is that if they can get Bethesda to run Skyrim Remastered the way that they want it to, then I can't wait to see what Nintendo's games look like, because Nintendo has always been better at optimizing their hardware than third parties. For good reason. I mean, obviously they would, right? But just think about the insane amount of polish on their GameCube games. Think about how Super Mario Galaxy looked in comparison to so many of the Wii games. Think about how pretty much all of Nintendo's games on the Wii U looked. They do great Polish, and I can't wait to see what this new 3D Mario game that also got announced uh, is going to look like. Also, it looks like we have a sequel to Splatoon confirmed, and they are going full esports, which esports is like a mixed bag for me, but you know what? If it's there, absolutely, like, go for it. Even though I've mostly been joking that the NX was mostly going to be a PC, I was honestly just hoping that uh, the controller would be something that you could take with you. Um, the, what they ended up revealing is much more effective uh, and exciting than what I could have imagined, which I guess is just what Nintendo does. Also, as another side note, I forgot to mention this earlier, um, with all these third-party developers, I'm hoping that that means these third-party developers are going to be working on reviving some of the Nintendo franchises that they haven't touched in a while. Like, you got Codemasters, they made Formula One and Grid and Dirt games, maybe have them revive F-Zero. 
But that's all just speculation. Uh, mainly, it just is really exciting to see all these developers behind it and to see what Nintendo's doing with this console. It looks fantastic. And I also find it really funny that uh, just like at E3, uh, Nintendo managed to make everybody forget there was another reveal today. As for Red Dead Redemption 2, it, uh, it looks pretty. We didn't really get any details out of it. Um, there was that controversy surrounding whether or not uh, there were going to be any female outlaws in the game. Uh, a lot of people got upset because the reveal shot seemed to be all men. Um, well, in the trailer you see a bunch of outlaws riding, and it looked like they were all men. So, maybe all the main characters are men? While I do think that we need more diversity in games, I also don't think that it's fair to put like the onus of having a female lead on every single game that comes out. It doesn't matter to me whether Red Dead Redemption has a female protagonist. It'd be cool if it did. Uh, it's a fairly machismo series in the first place. I'm just hoping that they don't come up with some kind of uh, bullshit excuse for why they don't have a female character, because we've seen stuff like that happen from uh, Ubisoft and Nintendo before, where they're like, yeah, you know, you just you just can't have a female. It's like if you chose if you chose not to have a female, you ju you chose not to have a female. That that that's it. Just leave it at that. Uh, anyways, in other news, uh, if you haven't seen in the streams yet, uh, I've recently moved a lot of stuff around, and I now have uh, my own room that I've been kind of converting into a studio. It's not completely there yet, but, you know, this is part of it. Getting the foam, I need to get more foam. But I basically have been building a bit of a studio so that I can, uh, I can now stream and make stuff pretty much when I want to. Uh, so, hey, production will probably be increasing. I can do stuff like this. With screaming kids. And speaking of which, I'm actually going to be streaming as soon as this video is uploaded just to talk more about the, the, the Switch. To talk more about the Switch, which is what we're calling it now. I have to get that into my head. Please tell me what you think about this. I'm incredibly excited for this console now. It comes out in March, which is actually a bit earlier than I was expecting. When they said spring, I was expecting like May or something. So it comes out in uh, five months or less. So that's exciting. Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching, let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, if you want to stop by the stream, stop by the stream, nobody's gonna stop you. You can hang out with me and these screaming children if they haven't left yet.